Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm um, continuing with our June challenge which is of course kitchen utensils and um, so today's challenge I'm using this. Now this is <laughs> noisy. For those of you that don't recognize it, um, is the strainer that goes on top of the gravy jug to strain out, strain out bones and skin before it gets into the jug. Uh, so it's a strainer. Uh, it's kind of got holes very similar in size to a colander, which I really like. And it's also got this whole um, space of being able to be turned upside down and have a, what would you call it, a container, a holding space to hopefully keep the paint in. Now, I've got an 8 by 10 canvas here. I have already pre-painted it with black and I've been wondering what colours would I actually wear if I was making material out of my art and so gold and red are two colours that I use a lot of my clothing um, so those are the colours I'm using today I've actually made up this red and this red is a combination of my crimson red which you guys are very familiar with me using and vermilion orange to get more of a blood red I suppose you'd call it a red red <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using that I'm quite excited about the colour I dried some and it's come out really quite nice so I'm looking forward to that that's that's the sort of color I wear so that's very exciting I've got the gold and I've got the black and those are the only three colors I'm going to use but I'm going to put silicon in the red and some of you are going oh we haven't seen you put silicon in paint for a long time Michelle no I know I keep forgetting so I just put three drips of dimethicone it's which is a type of silicon um, and I buy it in the form of Durex Play Perfect Glide because it is when you find the ingredients line the only thing it says in the ingredients is dimethicone which is kind of cool um, so just going to stir that in And then the other thing I'm going to use, and I, one of the things that I don't like about the calendary type pores is that the, the solidity of, you know, you, when you start pouring and you get a huge blob there and then it trickles out and I don't like that. So I'm actually going to use my bottled bottom. Um and do a bottle bottom pour through there and have it hopefully be reasonably even as it pours out the sides so <laughs> there you go there's Michelle's target so I'm actually going to start with the red maybe even a bit more of that Then we're going to go for some gold. When you're doing a bottom bottom pour, it sort of pays to try and get it in the middle so that it. And I'm not going to be able to see what's happening under there until. <laughs> um, oh! <laughs> I'm not going to put a lot of black, I'm just going to put the occasional dollop just to give it a bit of definition but I'm not going to be pouring black ah 
what happened? I, pouring is not seeming to be my capability today. It's running down the side. I know how to fix that. You go like this. Now some of you are going, this paint is really thick, Michelle. Yeah, it is. And it's cold. And how much paint is enough paint? I have no idea. I kind of can see in there that we're starting to get it filling up, which is quite cool. Um, but I can't see any results, so I'm not. It's still running down the side, isn't it? Crikey. Now, if I show you the side on view, and a bit of a zoom in, we're actually only just going through basically one hole for each rivulet. So I'm quite intrigued to see what's going on underneath there. Um, So at what point do I decide we've got enough paint? I don't know. Oops, I'm moving it. Oh, now we've gone and twisted it. That's not that's not the plan. I'm just kind of digging out the paint that's sitting in the bottom. And now I'm going to stop. Hmm. Well that kind of hasn't really done anything like I expected it to. Let's have a look underneath there. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. Really not much different to a bottle bottom pour, to be honest, is it? Well, let's stretch it out. Let's bring you back up here and zoom out a bit. 
and I'm going to put a little bit of black around the outside just to give it some flow One of the things that happens with fluid paint is if you don't have, if you've got pretty things like this and you start tilting it, it kind of rolls over itself and disappears. So my target with putting the black on is that it rolls over the black and stays. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm going to torch it before I do anything else. Because remember, we put silicon in there. We put it in the red, so it's not really going to. All it's going to do is bring up red. Oh, let's see. Let's just tilt. And tilt. As you can see, I'm just taking it so that the black just reaches the edge, which kind of creates this anchor point. And bring it back. And then I'm going to take it to that corner. Uh oh, red's gone over the side. Not that that's a bad thing, but all it does when you lose something over the side is that then any off perfect tilting starts to create odd Odd angles of the drip. I feel like some of you are saying you should have put it on the spinner and spun it. Yeah, that would have been an option. <laughs> Notice how I'm bringing the bulk of the paint back to the middle before tilting on a different angle. And that helps to try and keep it somewhat circular in its presentation. And I'm just going to go straight back down the side to try and get this corner over the edge as well. There she flows. Okay. Now, I really like this part here. Not a big fan of this part here. Definitely not a big fan of the all that red in the middle.
No, 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 no. Right. Oh, that didn't actually go right over. Well, silicon's not doing anything interesting, is it? I really love this layering effect. It's beautiful. And some of you, I can hear, are very happy that it's not doing anything different. Interesting. Weird. Okay, um, I'm really not excited about this bit, and I'm just wondering, 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 wondering what else is possible. While I'm thinking, I'm going to bring it up and show you a bit closer. Hopefully it auto focuses for you. See some of those lines are just beautiful. So, what I'm doing, what I'd really like to do is, ah, is not drip. <laughs> oh, dope. Maybe I do want to drip. Oops, sorry. Just one more. There. All right. And then I'm going to take this. Uh -huh. That is so not what I was trying to achieve.
trying to do the love heart thing what do you reckon what's it done ruined it Get a couple of air bubbles in there no, I think what it's done is it has just broken up that gigantic big chunk. Which is what I had the target of doing. Probably should have dragged outwards on all of them, but I didn't. And how does it get any better than that? Okay. I'm going to leave it be. I really have had. But I'm going to make some earrings out of what's underneath, I think. Oh, no. Oh. Mm, I've only got silverbacks for my earrings. No, I'm going to leave it. Just leave it alone, Michelle. We're just going to leave it at that. That is all we're going to have as our creation. And I am going to be back with the dry result of this for you in three, two, one. Here it is. It's dry. It looks exactly as it did before, but it's really sparkly. Check it out. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Look at all that gold. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes, I like this piece, I do, I like it a lot, really like it. It's sparkly, it's varied, and it's got no cells. <laughs> So those of you that are always complaining, I can't get cells, I can't get cells. You don't have to get cells. It's not required. So there you go, guys. That is my video for today. Um, I will be going live this coming weekend. What is that this weekend? My time or yours, depending on where you are around the world. So if you want to know when I'm going live and want to come play with me, it will be Europe kind of um, time. might be a bit late for those of you in um, the US or a bit early, whichever way around we look at things. <laughs> but if you're not already signed up, sign up on mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up and that will uh, give you a 24 hours notice. Um, as to when I'm going live so that you can rearrange your life to be with me <laughs> anyway I adore this I adore you and I hope you guys have had lots of fun watching um, and I, did I do any no no I didn't do any cabochons with this one did I cool all right guys I adore you, have fun, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.